welcome to my studio. We're down here at my workstation, and today we're going to play with crystal lacquer, and we're going to make this awesome um, charm here that you could put on to a necklace or a couple other ideas. There's multiple sizes of these. I'm using the largest one so that you guys can see the best. Now you're going to use crystal lacquer in the pearl colors to do this technique. I'm going to use it out of the um, set B, which comes with three colors, and it is the sky blue, the pink, and the lavender. The one that I showed you here is actually done with the cobalt blue, the, gold, the yellow, excuse me, and the white. So, first thing you need to do is open up your containers, and you're going to take off the little um, protection thing there and throw that away. And then the next thing you need to do is to open each of the containers, the lids, and cut off just a little bit of the top. To get your, and I've already opened these two, but I have to cut the little nipple off. So let me do that. And you do, when you close these, you do hear them snap closed. Make sure they're snap closed when you're done. Now, there's two different types of findings. There's ones that actually the finding is going up and down, and then some that are sideways. This one's going sideways. If you have one that's going up and down, Put it on a board like this so that it sits off so that you get levelness because you want to make sure you're level on this because the crystal lacquer will, um, will go to its level. So I have it on my board. I'm going to start in, t in a corner. And you want to start filling the charm with the crystal lacquer. And you can use as many colors as you want. And as you see, I'm just going back and forth, just filling that corner up. And that's about good I want on that corner. If you keep them laid down like that, they flow a little quicker. That was my little tip there. Here I go with the next color. Okay. And now our third color. Now you can use these in all kinds of combinations. You really can't go wrong with the combinations. They really are all good combinations. Okay. Now we'll go back to the first color. Basically, you're just going to fill this whole charm in with the color. Or it's actually a finding. of a tip on this. Okay, and our last color. After you fill this all in, I usually give it just a few seconds to kind of settle and kind of find its own level. Then you need a toothpick. You don't want to go very deep with this toothpick. You want to kind of just grab the color and pull. And I'm going to do this in three or four space spots one way. Now I'm going to go the opposite way. In between the lines that I just did. Again, you see I'm not going very deep. Just kind of skimming across the top to get that great color. Now see how cool that is? Now, this one I'm going to set aside to dry. You want to let this dry for about 12 hours. So I'm going to set that one aside. This one I did last night, and it has dried its 24 hours already. And now I'm going to go in and put in my next color, my clear crystal lacquer. So you grab your clear crystal lacquer. Oh, 
cups. Sorry about bumping the screen there. And you're just going to fill this in. I like to go right along the edge first. And then I just kind of fill in the center. All the way around, fill that all in. Then you're going to let this dry for at least 12 to 24 hours. It'll be dried to the touch a lot quicker than that, but if you give it a full 24 hours to uh, dry, you get a better um, product at the end. Set that side to dry, and then you are done, and you end up with something like this. But here's some other samples. Oh, drop them. A bunch of other different ones that I've done, and all different colors, as you see. I love that one. That one's on the uh, pink, and I believe it's the copper. Isn't that pretty? And then, as you see, we have different sizes. The blue and gold again. Here's pink and peach. Green and pink. So, that is as easy and as simple as it is to make awesome jewelry with your crystal lacquer. Thank you for joining me here in my studio.